We're going to go to line number five, and I'm going to Google the new Democratic Party leadership with Mr. Chris Bruce. How are you tonight, sir? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Very well. Thank you. Thank you for joining us again. Um, I'm always interested to hear for, uh, to be here for those who, who put their ideas and their names forward, uh, uh, to serve the public. So, Chris, have you made a decision yet about the, uh, about the leadership? Uh, no, I'm, I'm still thinking it through. I mean, sign, signs are pretty positive. Uh, the rules were released today, and uh, I have fired off a few questions to the chief electoral officer that the party's appointed. And she's going to get back to me as soon as possible, and then I'll be able to get back to you with uh, a, a final answer. But, I mean, so far it's looking pretty good. Um, there's a very low financial threshold, uh, so I'll be able to deal with that. So I, I definitely appreciate that opportunity. I was pretty impressed with that. I got to say, yeah. uh, Chris, I thought that the 25 large was uh, a, a modest and thoughtful approach uh, by the party to uh, be able to make it easier for those who just don't have the kind of money uh, that uh, most people do have uh, to to enter uh, into the political arena. Yeah, and I, you know, I mean, it, it it gives people the opportunity with with good ideas and lots of energy and good intentions to come forward, and I, and I do think that's what the NDP is about. Now, there is something I should clarify, though. That is twenty five grand before travel expenses. So. Uh, uh, I, I've heard a couple people kind of comment saying, well, how are they going to get around the island on that much? And then even up to Labrador, I mean, it's, you know, it's an expensive endeavor, especially in the winter. Um, so that travel expenses are outside of that 25. Okay, so roughly if you put your travel expenses, you might be looking at more, say, 40,000. Sure, you know, and but I mean, still, uh, you know, very, very reasonable. I mean, that that's that's already like twice of what the entrance fee was to to just be in the liberal leadership race. So, yeah, seriously, you know that's that's not so bad. <laughs> no, it's not so bad at all, and uh, it allows people to to get their feet wet. Uh, I know you and I have spoken about this before. You you did uh, consider uh, starting a chapter for another political party here uh, in the province, the mm-hmm. Green Party, and you know you got your feet wet. You're now back with uh, the idea. You're ruminating around uh, uh, returning to the the fold of the New Democrats in terms of running for the leadership. Uh, you. Youth injection is what is required for this party, I think, uh, to remain relevant, although I do think that the expertise that uh, Earl McCurdy brings to any table he sits at uh, is nothing that can be ignored because he is pretty much the Yoda of public policy here for the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. So it's, I guess it's a very heavy decision that you, you'll have to undertake uh, uh, to consider this. But uh, tell me, do you think that the, the New Democratic Party has uh, a, uh, a future brighter than uh, five seats in the next election? Well, you know, I mean, I don't even know how many seats are going to be in the House by the next election. So <laughs> actually, like, getting into the math of it, I, I wouldn't really be able to say fairly. Um, That's good. I like that. But, thank you. <laughs> um, but, you, you know, I, I, you know, hope springs a journal in all instances. But uh, even in this one, people are already very impressed by Earl. You know, I I don't know if everyone's going to call him Yoda, but, you know, I appreciate the reference. <laughs> um <laughs> And and he does bring talent and experience to the table and a sense of stability, and a lot of people are looking for that. Um, yeah. But, you know, his running I don't think uh, would deter me in particular. Um, I'm sure he's up for, for a lively policy debate, and, uh, and and those are discussions that the party and the province really needs. I mean, we had the health care summit today um, ongoing, and, and you know, these, these are important issues. I mean, it's a $3 billion question, like you said, right? It absolutely is. It's the three billion dollar question, and if we're going to cut, where will we be cutting? This is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see any sort of policy come from any of the three parties uh, over the next uh, few weeks. It, the time is now for uh, uh, all of you to uh, employ the marketplace of ideas and allow us to see uh, where your vision for the province is. Well, in terms of the NDP vision for the province, I, I mean. I, I think people have always given the NDP credit on on our commitment to to social values and to healthcare in particular. I mean, you know, we started it. <laughs> we care a lot about it. And we want it to work well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, one thing I think that uh, you know is in the policy books already is is a prescription drug plan plan for the province. Um, and this is a way, you know, yeah, it'll be a new cost and it'll be an investment and it'll be a, be a bureaucracy to set up. But in the end, it's going to end up saving money. 
Um, it's going to be cheaper for consumers because we'll be able to benefit from economies of scale and bulk purchases the way that Ontario and Quebec can. Sure. Um, and on top of that, it's going to reduce our long-term health care costs because people will be able to get that medication sooner and at a, a much lower financial stress. And because that makes us unhealthy, too. It certainly does. And you know what? It's good to have drug security right along with food security and everything else. If we have bulk supplies on the island, uh, we have less uh, uh, stressors. And we have a lot of empty buildings that uh, can be used for storage in, in terms of government. And uh, I think that's a good idea. That's a very interesting idea. So I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. Um, when we're looking at the numbers that uh, the current uh, provincial drug programs is $150 million uh, in the budget estimates for 2013-2014, I'd be interested to see what sort of numbers uh, you are looking at for this program. But uh, we'll, we're going to have to pick that up maybe next week, Chris, because we got to go to the news at the top of the hour. We're just a little bit over time right now. So I want to thank you for joining us. And, uh, Quite all right. Thank I look, you. I look forward to your news. Uh, don't take too long because uh, the, 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 the deadline is February 6th. So good luck, sir. And we'll speak maybe next thank week. Thank you, sir. Have a great evening. You too. Bye-bye. Cheers.